Hey everyone, it's James again. We're here with the Pygon Bot development team, and uh, it's it's been a few months since we've released some videos for you guys, and I wanted to take some time out here today um, and show you some latest features of Pygon Bot that has come out in the last uh, few updates that we've released since the 9.0 series was released in November 1st, 2016. Uh, so some exciting stuff to show you guys. Um, the very first thing I do want to bring your attention to with these updates is that we've added a ton of search engines for you to be able to scrape. Uh, for years now, PyCombot has only primarily been focused on scraping Google. But as Google has become a little bit more strict and a little bit more difficult, requiring a little bit more investment in private dedicated proxies, you know, to be able to scrape a ton of data, we thought it was really important to add these other search engines to be able to harvest new information and, and data and make it a lot easier on you guys. You see it here, we have uh, Google.com, we have Yahoo.com, we have Bing.com, AOL.com, and YellowPages.com that we've added. Um, I know that uh, a lot of these are going to be pretty big as far as you guys being able to scrape because uh, there's just so many databases to be able to draw so much information on. Uh, one of the other second uh, updates that we've made uh, is we've added the ability, so when Pygon Bot's visiting a a page through the posting process or or through the scan and search features um, it will now harvest web links that are on those pages that are being scanned uh, or that are being posted to so you're going to be able to draw a lot of information let's say for example you are able to scrape a list out of one of those search engines for some website that has a lot of different pages with a lot of different information on there you'll be able to get those pages of information just upload them into Pygon Bot and go through them and, and pull the links off of them so that's that's pretty cool. uh, added feature here for you to be able to get a lot more website links uh, to contact for your services or businesses uh, offers that you may have um, one of the other updates that we've made uh, you'll notice is on the posting features we've now added the ability for you to add a custom refer link so this is pretty cool feature because uh, what it's doing is it's uh, essentially you enter any website. I would assume you're probably entering the website that you're trying to promote or service. And uh, whenever it goes to the web contact form or whatever page that you're going to uh, that you've uploaded in the Pygon Bot, in the analytics of that website, it's going to show whatever link that you've put here. So, for example, if I have put uh, pygonbot.com, when it goes to fill out a contact form or scrape data off that website, uh, it's going to show that uh, the hit came from whatever website I want to use. Now, why would you use this and, 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 and show them where it's coming from? Maybe you'll want to, maybe you won't. Uh, I, I've, I've definitely heard people using this as a marketing technique. So when people see it in their analytics forms that they ref referral link had uh, sent traffic their way, a lot of times they'll go back and check out the website. I can vouch for this myself. Uh, sometimes in analytics, when I see you know a website I have never seen before where a link or a referrer has come from, uh, I'll go check out the website just to see what it's about. So uh, anyways, this is a really cool feature that I've added uh, here for you guys to be able to uh, uh, have a more diverse ability to market your companies in different ways. With the search engines that we've added, yellowpages.com is a pretty interesting one. And we've also added a unique report for that. Um, so when you uh, harvest data from Yellow Pages, you can actually export out a full report. Uh, anyways, have a great day and keep on keeping on.